live coverage starting soon. Live coverage starting soon. Live coverage starting soon. Live coverage starting soon. It's time for Kennet Indian Softball. This broadcast presented by Kennet. Bowling Lanes, State Farm Insurance, Kennett Trust Bank, Harris Pharmacy, Curapath Wellness, Kennett Girls Softball Association, and Patterson Auto Sales. Other sponsors include Bloom Bella Flowers and Gifts, Century 21, Ultimate Fitness and Hanley McAtee Farms. And now, Kennet Indian Softball. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tad Jones, and I am filling in for Dennis Nail today as we are live from Indian Park in Kennet, Missouri, um, where the uh, Kennet Indians will take on the East Carter Redbirds. Uh, the Indians this year have a 13 and 4 record going against a 4 and 4 East Carter Redbirds team. Um, very beautiful day out here today. I'm here with Monty Lyons. Hi there. One, one man that's not shy from <laughs> speaking on the radio. I'm I got thrown into the fire today. <laughs> so uh, I'll be filling in for Dennis Nail, so just bear with us here as uh, we have both not done this in several years, and I've never done it before, so this will be my first time on the radio for you guys. Um, so just bear with us. 
we'll get you through the game and it's a beautiful day if you're if you're not coming out to the park today we have you covered on the radio at kboa am 1540 and on 98.7 wgcq fm and we're also coming to you live on the kcrv streaming platforms you can find us at multiple locations on youtube dash at kcrv live you can also find us on kick.com dash kcrv live and on twitch.com dash kcrv live we are still waiting for looks like the umpires to arrive so we're a little bit before game time uh some of the players for east carter are still out warming up on the field before we take our first commercial break we want to thank some of our great sponsors who make this broadcast possible bloom bella flowers and gifts at 111 uh 1110 Kennett Street in Kennett. They're happy to help sponsor this broadcast of Kennett Indian Softball. Give Deanna a call at 888-3040. Century 21 Real Estate in Kennett at 105 East Washington. Another great Kennett Indian Softball broadcast sponsor. If uh, you can give them a call at 888-5888. We're going to take a short commercial break, and we'll be coming back to you live from Indian Park in Kennett as we are waiting first pitch. It's supposed to be taking place at 11 o'clock a.m. this morning as we're gearing up for Kennett Indian softball as they take on the East Carter Redbirds. We'll be back in two minutes. Come see Grace and Glow at the corner of Tico and First Street in Kennett. They offer 24-hour access tanning, so you can tan when you want to tan. Just $55 a month gets you unlimited tanning or single sessions for $8. They also offer the most popular weight loss shots, semaglutide and terzepatide, plus Botox and dye sports shots, along with fillers to make you look your best. Be sure to visit their great boutique. That's Grace and Glow at the corner of Tico and First Street in Kennett. At Harris Pharmacy, you can get all of your prescriptions in one stop, and we'll even remind you when it's time to get a refill with our MedSync and Refill Reminder programs. Hi, this is Darren with Harris Pharmacy. Stop by today at 1224 1st Street in Kennett for your over-the-counter and prescription needs. You can come through the drive-thru, or we deliver for free inside the city limits of Kennett. We also offer flu, shingles, and pneumonia vaccines. Come see us today at Harris Pharmacy in Kennett. Good luck, Indians. Kennett Bowling Lanes is under new ownership and they're excited to announce new menu items coming soon with delicious lunch specials every day. Looking for a fun family outing? Family night is every Wednesday night from 4 to 8. Kids bowl for free with a meal purchase. Book your next birthday party with a basic or pizza party package. They can also host business events. Call 888 to make a reservation or stop by 1315 St. Francis Street in Kennett. Kennett Bowling Lanes. Strike up some fun. Kennett Girls Softball Association is a proud sponsor of Kennett Indian Softball. Their goal is to promote the game of softball as well as stress the importance of sportsmanship to girls in Kennett and the surrounding areas. Registrations are currently being accepted until March 29th for softball and baseball at Baker, Wellman, Brown, and Farm Bureau. Get those kiddos signed up for a summer of fun. We are back from Indian Park in Kennett as we are getting ready for Kennett Indians versus East Carter Redbirds. Um, Perry Jones is in Dyer, Tennessee today as the Kennett Indians are going to take on the Milan Bulldogs and the Gibson County Pioneers. That game was originally set to be taking at uh, taking place at South Gibson County High School, which we've been there several times. And now it's been changed to Gibson County High School in Dyer, Tennessee. Uh, His first game of the day is set to take place at 12 o'clock. And that game will be against the Milan Bulldogs. And the second game of the day will be against the Gibson County Pioneers at 2.30. He will be live on 105.5 KBOA FM. And also streaming online with audio at KBOARadio.com. Uh, You can find all his video streams over at the KTMO YouTube streams on YouTube, uh, Twitter, and Kick, as well as Twitch. All that information is available on the KTMO Facebook page, so if you're looking for the Kennett Indian Baseball game later today, you can catch all that action with Perry Jones. 
Monty, it's a beautiful day out here today. Oh, man. I tell you, you know, it's absolutely unbelievable. The nice breeze and everything, and everybody's all getting set up. We got a lot of folks out there beyond the center field fence what, what, getting ready to start catching some home runs. Yeah, there's quite a crowd here for East Carter. They, they brought a pretty good crowd along with them. I see some Ken Indian fans filing in as well. Uh, we're still waiting to see the umpires show up. We're about five minutes from the scheduled start time, so we're going to go ahead and take another commercial break. But before we do, we want to thank some of our other great sponsors. Ultimate Fitness in Kennett is another great broadcast sponsor of Kennett Indian Softball. Great workout facilities and also an indoor practice facility to get your game to the next level. Give them a call at 888-9000. Guys, they have a great facility over there, and these Kennett players are lucky to have such a great facility to go in there with indoor batting cages. Uh, I've worked out there several times, and what a great facility it is. And another great Kennett Indian lady broadcast sponsor is Hanley McAtee Farms. Hanley is happy to help support this broadcast both on the radio and our live video stream. We're going to take another two-minute break as I see the umpires coming in now. So when we come back, we'll give you a rundown of the lineups as we get ready for Kennett Indian Softball, live from Indian Park in Kennett, Missouri. Locally owned Kennett Trust Bank understands the importance of great service, great rates, and putting the focus on you. Hi, this is John Patton with Kennett Trust Bank inviting you to stop by at our new location, 917 First Street in Kennett. We offer full banking services like checking, savings accounts, plus home, auto, commercial, and agricultural loans. Stop by our new location, 917 First Street today or online at KennettTrustBank.com. Kennett Trust Bank is proud to support the Kennett Indians. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello, I'm Trenton Patterson with Patterson Auto Sales in Kennett. If you're looking for a newer, late model vehicle at a great price, then you need to come see me at Patterson Auto Sales. I've worked for the big dealerships, and I can save you money off of what you pay when you buy a used car or truck at the dealership. Plus, I have several great credit options, and we can guarantee financing for anyone, regardless of credit. Come see me, Trenton Patterson, at Patterson Auto Sales, 1005 First Street in Kennett, or visit our website online at pattersonautosales.mycarsonline.com. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings, or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. See State Farm agent Greg Wilson in Kennett. Call 888-4913. Come see Grace and Glow at the corner of Tico and First Street in Kennett. They offer 24-hour access tanning, so you can tan when you want to tan. Just $55 a month gets you unlimited tanning or single sessions for $8. They also offer the most popular weight loss shots, semaglutide and terzepatide, plus Botox and dye sports shots, along with fillers to make you look your best. Be sure to visit their great boutique. That's Grace and Glow at the corner of Tico and First Street in Kennett. We are back live from Indian Park, as you can see head coach of the Kenna Indians, Logan Dollins, meeting with head coach of the East Carter Redbirds, Teresa Kirby. Let's go ahead and run through the starting lineups for both teams. Your home team, the Kenna Indians, who are 13-4 and four on the season. They will start off with Hanley McAtee, who is playing third base. Uh, second in the lineup, Lauren Barton, who will be your catcher of the day. Uh, Hadley Wilson is your designated player. Number four in the lineup is Avery Payne. She'll be playing first base. Uh, fifth is Lindley Patterson, who will be in left field. Kinsley McKegg is at shortstop. Emma Bodkin is your pitcher on the mound. Uh, Olivia Raspberry, second base. Katie Taylor in right field. And Lexi Wallace, who will not be batting, is playing center field. For your East Carter Redbirds, who are four and four, uh, Number one batting off is Callie Miller, who will be playing third base for the day. Kayla Okoa is your pitcher. Batting third, Anna Crawley, who is also at shortstop. Batting fourth, Addie Kirby, second base. Batting fifth, Sierra Duckett, first base. Uh, batting sixth, Janica Holloway. She'll be in center field for the day. Batting seventh, Caden Newton. 
Maybe I got that name right. She'll be in left field. Ryland Bowman batting eighth in center field. And Zelma Cooley batting ninth in right field. Uh, head coach of the East Carter Red Bo uh, Redbirds, Teresa Kirby, out at home plate. They're going back to their dugouts. Uh, assistant coach of the East Carter Redbirds, Nicole Shell. We want to thank our great sponsors again, Bloom Bella Flowers and Gifts. Uh, 111, I keep messing this up, <laughs> 1110 Kennett Street, happy to help sponsor this broadcast of Kennett Indian Softball. Give Deanna a call at 888-3040. And also Century 21 Real Estate, 105 East Washington Street in Kennett, another great Kennett Indian Softball broadcast sponsor. Give them a call at 888-5888. We're waiting on the players to take the field, and here they come, the Kennett Indians. Um, Emma Bodkin on your on the mound for the day for the Indians as they're facing off against this East Carter Redbirds team. Uh, starting off for the Redbirds, Callie Miller. Second is Kayla Okoa, and third on the day in the lineup is Anna Crawley. So she will face those batters to start. If any more get on, your D... Er, Cleanup hitter will be Addie Kirby. So we are getting ready for Kennett Indian softball here on this beautiful day. Uh, once again, we are streaming live on the KCRV streaming platforms. You can find us on YouTube, Kick, and Twitch. Those can be found by typing in youtube.com dash at KCRV live, kick.com dash kcrv live and on twitch.com dash kcrv live couldn't ask for a better day today monty we are almost ready for ball wind blowing in slightly from center field and i don't think the temperatures are going to get up above 85 today so we should have a great day for softball all around 76 right now winds blowing in south at 11 miles per hour this is the first of three games we're playing here at indian park today lady indians will be in the first and the third games also have saint genevieve and east carter county here yep and we'll have uh we'll have your kennett indian game between the kennett indians and the saint genevieve dragons coming up later this afternoon we will not have a video stream or any radio broadcast for the game between east carter and saint genevieve we're going to take a much needed break in between games get reset and we'll be back live for that that game all right callie miller third baseman for the east carter redbirds comes up to bat and we are set for for Lady Indian Softball. First pitch is in, and it's popped up over the backstop. Out of play. Right hander steps back in the box. Pitch a little low in the dirt. One and one. Now the Kennet Indians got off to a great start this year. They uh, were undefeated for quite a bit, and they have played some good competition on the year, which is going to help them down the road when they get to the districts and further on. That pitch is in on the outside corner for a strike. We are one and two on the first batter of the day. And the pitch was just tipped and fouled off Lauren Barton's helmet. She looks to be okay here. Mm -hmm. She just got a piece of that ball to stay alive as the opening batter of this game. One and two still. Another one just fouled off. She's getting right under that ball and stays alive.
That ball is grounded to third base as the Indians retire. Cal Callie Miller, as that ball was hit to Hanley McAtee, and she throws it over to Avery Payne for the first out of the ball game. Next up is Carla Okoa. I hope I'm pronouncing that name. I apologize if I'm getting that incorrectly. She is your pitcher for the East Carter Redbirds today. The second pitch in from Inma Bodkin is fouled off back to the backstop. She is 1-1. One on Akoa. And the ball is fouled off to, or put in play to Emma Bodkin, which goes off her glove. And that ball was hard hit. That one, hard one to handle as a pitcher. So she makes it down to first. Akoa is on base with the first single of the day for the Redbirds. Next up to bat for the Redbirds is Crawley as she plays in shortstop. Ball was, ball was fouled off, so uh, Akoa has to go back to first base as she was trying to steal. 0-1-1 for Crawley. As Emma Bodkin gets ready for her th second pitch of the at bat. That ball was just outside to where it was kind of hard to handle with the swings. Akoa advances to second on the steal. Not really a pass ball there, but she got a really good jump. To make it down to second base. So 0 and 2 for Crawley. That runner is getting a really good jump on second base. As that ball was fouled off and Crawley stays alive. 0 and 2 at this at bat and one out in the inning. As the lefty steps back in the batter box, awaiting the pitch from Emma Bodkin. Oh, a little high. Emma's had very good control so far this game, putting the pitches where she's want to. That ball was hit off the end of the bat to the second baseman, Olivia Raspberry, and there was no chance for a play unless that one was caught in the air. It was spinning, had a weird curve to it. So now we got players at first and third for the Redbirds. As Akoa advances to third and Crawley advances to first on the, on the play. One out still in the inning. Maybe we can get a Kenna Indian double play here and get out of this jam. Addie Kirby goes around for a bunt. Gets by Kenna Indian catcher Lauren Barton as Anna Crawley advances to second on the pass ball. Very short backstop here, so you don't expect anybody to advance to home unless there's a really weird bounce. Which, how the fence is angled, I wouldn't put it past it. Anything can happen. 2-0 and oh for Addie Kirby. That pitch hits the outside corner. 1-2 and two actually, I'm sorry, I got the, the count mixed up here. It's 
Emma Bodkin gets ready to bring home the next pitch. And that ball goes to the backstop. The runners stay, and we are at 2-2 two and two now. 1-2. and two. Well, nope, 2-2. Two and two, I'm sorry. Scoreboard out here is just as confused as I am on this at bat. Good pitch outside, but Kirby stays alive by fouling that one off down the left field line. I want to thank you again for joining us as we are live on the KCRV streaming platforms and also on the radio at KBOA AM 1540, 98.7 WGCQ as we see Emma Bodkin get her First strike out of the game, swinging on Addie Kirby. So that gives us two outs for the inning. As Bodkin will now face Sierra Duckett. See if she can get out of the jam here. First pitch hits the outside corner. She's doing a really good job of painting that outside corner. It's a... Uh, Really giving these East Carter players a hard time reaching out and hitting those pitches. That went a little high. One and one. Really nice crowd out here today. You couldn't ask for a better day for three softball games coming live to you from Indian Park. Second pitch comes home. Runners are not going to advance, so we are one and two on this. And Emma Bodkin is one pitch away from getting out of this jam in the first inning. Duckett's ready for the pitch. As Emma Bodkin's about to deliver it. That ball is popped into center field, and the Indians make the play. That was a to Lexi Wallace. So the Redbirds go down with uh, one hit on the inning. And we will go to the Kenna Indians as they bat in the bottom half of the first inning. Coming back in one minute. At Harris Pharmacy, you can get all of your prescriptions in one stop. And we'll even remind you when it's time to get a refill with our MedSync and Refill Reminder programs. Hi, this is Darren with Harris Pharmacy. Stop by today at 1224 1st Street in Kennett for your over-the-counter and prescription needs. You can come through the drive-thru or we deliver for free inside the city limits of Kemet. We also offer flu, shingles, and pneumonia vaccines. Come see us today at Harris Pharmacy in Kennet. Good luck, Indians. Kennet Bowling Lanes is under new ownership and they're excited to announce new menu items coming soon with delicious lunch specials every day. Looking for a fun family outing? Family night is every Wednesday night from 4 to 8. Kids bowl for free with a meal purchase. Book your next birthday party with a basic or pizza party package. They can also host business events. Call 888 9400 to make a reservation or stop by 1315 St. Francis Street in Kennet. Kennet Bowling Lanes. Strike up some fun. Kennett Girls Softball Association is a proud sponsor of Kennett Indian Softball. Their goal is to promote the game of softball as well as stress the importance of sportsmanship to girls in Kennett and the surrounding areas. Registrations are currently being accepted until March 29th for softball and baseball at Baker, Wellman, Brown, and Farm Bureau. Get those kiddos signed up for a summer of fun. We are back from Indian Park in Kennett as the Kennett Lady Indians come to bats. On leadoff for the Kennett Indians today, Hanley McAtee, who is playing third base. Lauren Barton will be batting second. She is your catcher. And Hadley Wilson will bat third. She is your designated player of the day. Uh, on the mound for the East Carter Redbirds is Carla Akoa. McAtee steps in the box. As they're about to bat for their first time of the game in the bottom of the first inning.
First pitch comes home, and it is roped down the left field line, but it is foul. Second pitch floats in there, and it was close, but a little bit on the inside corner as Count is now 1-1 one and one for leadoff batter, the Kenna Indians, Hanley McAtee. Second ball is popped up in between the infield and the outfield. And shortstop, Anna Crawley will go over and make the play for the Redbirds. That's one out for the Kenna Indians. As McAtee goes down as leadoff player. Lauren Barton steps in the box. That ball a little low, gets to the backstop. I want to thank our sponsors. Ultimate Fitness in Kennan is another great broadcast sponsor of Kennan Indian Softball. Great workout facilities and also indoor practice facilities to get your game to the next level. That ball is just outside the first baseline. As that one would have been trouble. Two balls so far that... Uh, just been hit hard, just just in the foul foul ball area there, and uh, that one was a lot closer than the first. That one really close to being fair. Second pitch, just a little bit outside, and that one gets to the backstop. Lauren Barton, left-handed batter, steps in, takes that pitch just inside. Didn't miss by much. That ball is up the middle for a base hit. Your first Kent Indian base hit of the day by Lauren Barton. As she trots down to first, first base. And Hadley Wilson, your designated player, comes up to bat. See if the Indians try to do any stealing here. And she is off, and she will have a stand up steal there as Barton advances to second. 1 0 for Hadley Wilson. That pitch, nice pitch on the outside corner. 1 and 1. That ball just inside the third baseline. And Barton will come home to score. And Wilson gets a single. It's one to nothing, Kennet Indians. Your first baseman, Avery Payne, steps in the box. Strike one. The ball was caught in on the hands a little bit to the shortstop and over to first for your second out of the game. Hadley Wilson advances to second on the sacrifice. Lindley Patterson steps in the box. That ball is popped up in between the infield and outfield, and it's going to drop in for a hit. That one got lost in the sun. There is not a cloud in the sky today, and that may be an issue for some of these players. Scored. She scored on that play. Okay, so we are 2 nothing now. And we have another hit by Kinsley McKegg. Not really getting balls hit super hard, but they're just getting by the infield in places where they're not at. So 
Lindley Patterson move is, moves to third base here. As Emma Bodkin steps in the box. And that pitch almost hit her. Gets to the backstop. The players do not advance. Second and third for the Indians. She went around on that. So two and one now for Emma Bodkin. Your kind of Indian pitcher for the day. Kenyon's up 2-0 on the East Carter Redbirds in the bottom of the first. That ball hit back to Akoa as she gets the third out of the inning. And the Indians go down, but after scoring two, they lead 2-0. We'll be at the top of the second coming back right after this. Locally owned Kennett Trust Bank understands the importance of great service, great rates, and putting the focus on you. Hi, this is John Patton with Kennett Trust Bank inviting you to stop by at our new location, 917 First Street in Kennett. We offer full banking services like checking, savings accounts, plus home, auto, commercial, and agricultural loans. Stop by our new location, 917 First Street today or online at KennettTrustBank.com. Kennett Trust Bank is proud to support the Kennett Indians. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Oh, shoot. I forgot this. We are back from Indian Park in Kennett. As... Let's see. Do we have a... I'm trying to see what's going on here. Emma Bodkin is back on the mound. I'm sorry. As Janica Holloway will lead off for the Redbirds. Cadence Newton be second. And Rylan Bowman be third. If anybody can reach, Zoma Cooley will bat. Indians get the ball back in to Emma Bodkin as she gets ready for her second inning. Had players at second and third and got out of a jam in the first. Really good control and struck out a batter. And we are ready for the second inning. Your Indians lead 2-0. Pitch a little high. Ball one. Ball was hit hard, just a little late swing on it, and it's fouled off the first base fence. We are one and one on the Janica Holloway, your center fielder for the East Carter Redbirds. Speaking with head coach of the East Carter Redbirds before the game, Teresa Kirby, she told me that one of their all state players. Is out taking the ACT today, so a little short-handed on the day. This ball is grounded to short. That ball from McKeg to Payne as they get the first out of the inning as Janica Holloway is retired. Next up for the Redbirds is Cadence Newton. Getting ready to step in the box here as she gets the first pitch from Emma Bodkin. Good pitch on the inside corner. Swing and a miss from Cadence Newton. Pitch delivered and swing and a miss. Newton down in the count. 0 to 2 now. Taking really good swings at it, but she is getting some good pitches. 
And that is strike three looking for Emma Bodkin. She gets the second out of the inning. It's the number eight hitter, Ryland Bowman, comes up to bat for the Redbirds. First pitch in. Strike on the outside corner. Really good control this in from Emma Bodkin. As she is just putting it right where she wants it. Wind blowing in slightly. Center field. That ball is just a little bit outside. One and one. For Ryland Bowman of the East Carter Redbirds. Swing and a miss. As Emma Bodkin is one pitch away from getting out, getting out of this inning. Hmm. One and two the count. As Emma Bodkin gets ready for her next pitch home. That pick pitches right down the middle. As Bowman is retired, looking, your third out of the inning. We'll be right back in one minute with more Kenna Indian softball as the Indians come to bat. Hello, I'm Trenton Patterson with Patterson Auto Sales in Kenna. If you're looking for a newer, late model vehicle at a great price, then you need to come see me at Patterson Auto Sales. I've worked for the big dealerships, and I can save you money off of what you pay when you buy a used car or truck at the dealership. Plus, I have several great credit options, and we can guarantee financing for anyone, regardless of credit. Come see me, Trenton Patterson, at Patterson Auto Sales, 1005 First Street in Kennett, or visit our website online at pattersonautosales.mycarsonline.com. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. See State Farm agent Greg Wilson in Kennett. Call 888-4913. We are back from Indian Park as the Indians come back to bat after they score two in the first inning. Off hits from Hadley Wilson and Kinsley McKegg. Olivia Raspberry, first up to bat for the Kennings this Indian or Kenna Indians this inning. She is batting in the eight spot in the nine spot. Katie Taylor and if. We'll get back to the top of the lineup. Hanley McAtee will be your third batter of the inning. If anybody can reach, Lauren Barton. As we're getting ready for the Kenna Indian players to get out here and start their second, second round with the bats. And we are getting ready here for yeah. Olivia Raspberry yeah. to step in the box and start this bottom of the second inning. A show on the mound for the East Carter Redbirds. First pitch home, inside corner. First pitch is a strike delivered to Raspberry. Next pitch home in the dirt and gets to the backstop. One and one. Next pitch is a little high. She's got a pitch that just floats in there. She's got good speed. And then she'll throw that change up at you. Ball is grounded to third base. Over in time to retire Olivia Raspberry. 
for the first out of the inning. Up to bat for the Indians, Katie Taylor, your right fielder. Right down the middle, strike one. Ooh. This ball is popped up into center field and is caught by Janica Holloway. Now the leadoff batter, Hanley McAtee, steps in. This pitch floats in just a little bit outside and low. She popped up to shortstop last time at bat. And she takes ball two in the dirt. Two very similar pitches, same location, just missing. Next ball in there for a strike, two and one. It's your third baseman steps in left-handed batter's box. This ball is hit to second base, and can it go down one, two, three on the inning? As they will come up in the top of the third and face the East Carter Redbirds, as we'll be back in one minute. Come see Grace and Glow at the corner of Tico and First Street in Kennett. They offer 24-hour access tanning, so you can tan when you want to tan. Just $55 a month gets you unlimited tanning or single sessions for $8. They also offer the most popular weight loss shots, semaglutide and terzepatide, plus Botox and dye sports shots, along with fillers to make you look your best. Be sure to visit their great boutique. That's Grace and Glow at the corner of Tico and First Street in Kennett. At Harris Pharmacy, you can get all of your prescriptions in one stop, and we'll even remind you when it's time to get a refill with our MedSync and Refill Reminder programs. Hi, this is Darren with Harris Pharmacy. Stop by today at 1224 1st Street in Kennett for your over-the-counter and prescription needs. You can come through the drive-thru, or we deliver for free inside the city limits of Kennett. We also offer flu, shingles, and pneumonia vaccines. Come see us today at Harris Pharmacy in Kennett. Good luck, Indians. We are back live from Indian Park as head coach Logan Dollins taking over the catching duties as Lauren Barton gets her catching gear back on. We want to thank our great sponsors making this Kennett Lady Indian broadcast possible. Hanley McAtee Farms. Hanley is happy to help support this broadcast both on the radio and our live video stream. And we are getting ready for the top of the third inning as... Emma Botkin brings the ball home. Ball is thrown down to second, and we are ready. That's the number nine hitter, Zoma Cooley. Right fielder, the East Carter Redbirds, steps in the right batter box. So we're getting ready for top of the third here. First pitch delivered, in for a strike. Me and Monty both, we just, uh, it's been a long time since never done play-by-play, -play, and Monty, been it's several been years. 20 years. <laughs> this ball is lined to great third base. Hit. Great Great play by great third play. baseman Hanley McAtee as she retires. Number nine batter for the East Carter Redbirds. Ted, this weather's just absolutely perfect for softball today. I mean, it's nice and cool and relaxed. they got a light breeze and everything. The light breeze coming in is great. Yeah. And we don't have any wasp problems today, which usually I'm behind the scenes doing a lot of the uh, internet and video work. But today I'm thrown into the fire, and I'm doing play-by-play. -play. So this first pitch to the leadoff batter, Callie Miller, is in for a strike. She hit the third base, her first at bat, retired, and this ball is in for a strike. And she is down 0-2 by Kennett pitcher Emma Bodkin. She is just cruising through the innings now. 
This next pitch is in. Uh -huh. Strike no. three. She retires the leadoff batter for the East Carter Redbirds. East Carter pitcher Kayla Akoa trying to help herself out here in the batter's box and get her East Carter Redbirds on the board. She steps in awaiting the first pitch from Emma Bodkin. This ball has popped up in the infield. There you got it. As Kinsley McKay comes over and makes the catch. And that retires the Redbirds. One, two, three in the third as we come back. We will have Lauren Barton, Hadley Wilson, and Avery Payne batting for the Indians. We'll be back in one minute. Canet Bowling Lanes is under new ownership, and they're excited to announce new menu items coming soon with delicious lunch specials every day. Looking for a fun family outing? Family night is every Wednesday night from 4 to 8. Kids bowl for free with a meal purchase. Book your next birthday party with a basic or pizza party package. They can also host business events. Call 888-9400 to make a reservation or stop by 1315 St. Francis Street in Kennet. Kennet Bowling Lanes. Strike up some fun. Kennett Girls Softball Association is a proud sponsor of Kennett Indian Softball. Their goal is to promote the game of softball as well as stress the importance of sportsmanship to girls in Kennett and the surrounding areas. Registrations are currently being accepted until March 29th for softball and baseball at Baker, Wellman, Brown, and Farm Bureau. Get those kiddos signed up for a summer of fun. We are back in Indian Park as the Redbirds throw down to second and Lauren Barton steps up to the plate for her second at bat of the game as she singled to center field her first at bat. So she looks to go two, to two, two for two on the day. Perry Jones is just 30 minutes from his game time. I was helping him with his internet earlier, so he's over in Dyer, Tennessee. As the Indians get ready to take on the Milan Bulldogs in their first game of their doubleheader. So we got four games going on today between uh, KBOA AM and KBOA FM. First pitch outside a little bit. Ball 1-0 and for Lauren Barton. His games can be found on the KTMO streaming platforms. All that info is available on the KTMO Facebook page. This ball wow, is good. Pop to the second base. Addie Kirby makes a great play going back to catch that ball. As the Indians retired their first at bat of the inning. Hadley Wilson steps in. Second pitch comes in. That ball is high and outside. And one and one. Indians lead two nothing. Top or bottom of the third. And that ball is stroked to left field, and it is fair. It gets to the fence. Hadley Wilson turns and makes second standing up. And she reaches for her second time of the day. Both balls hit the left field. And Avery Payne steps in the batter's box for the Indians. Hadley Wilson at second. Koa brings the pitch home. Low in the dirt. Ball one. If you're driving, trying to find the game on the radio today, this game can be found on KBOA AM 1540 98.7 WGCQ. And this ball is down the left field line and foul. Another hard hit ball by the Indians. That one would have left the park if it would have been in play, but Payne steps back in the batter's box. That ball is well over her head, and we are one and one on the at bat. Wilson at second. As Akoa gets ready to bring the third pitch home.
That ball is stroked to left center, and it gets to the fence as well. Wilson will come in to score, and Avery Payne gets a double. The Kenneth Indians now lead 3-0. First time around, it seemed like the Indians were hitting the ball in around the hands. And that ball is a swing and a miss. And Avery Payne will advance to third on the pass ball. As Lindley Patterson steps in, trying to help this Ken Indian team take a 4-0 lead. Ball a little high, gets to the backstop. One and one. Next pitch home. A little bit inside. Catcher Rylan Bowman checks the Avery Payne back at third. As that ball gets to the backstop, and Emma Payne is coming home, and she is safe. Avery Payne, I'm sorry. Kenneth, Indians go up 4 nothing. They had all this and just one out in the inning. That ball is popped to right field, and it'll drop in for a hit for Lindley Patterson. One out still in the inning here, as Monty has stated. And Lindley Patterson reaches to first. Your shortstop, Kinsley McKegg, steps in the batter's box. That ball just inside the first baseline. The Indians are going to score another run here. As Kinsley McKay gets a triple. That ball was hit hard just inside the line. As the Indians go up 5-0. Emma Bodkin, your pitcher for the Ken Indians, steps in the box. Pitch home is floats in for a strike. One out in the inning. Ken Indian, Indians tack on three more. Two in the first, three in the second, or three in the third here. Ball two, high. For your pitcher of the Kenna Indians, Emma Bodkin. Next pitch in. Good one. Up in the zone. Bodkin chased a little bit. And she goes 2-1. and one. That ball is stroked into center field for another hit. Another run in. As Kinsley McKegg scores off her triple, Emma Bodkin brings her in. The eight hitter, Olivia Raspberry, comes up to bat. Indians are doing a good job of connecting with the ball this inning. That one was popped up on the infield. A little miscommunication from the third and short stop. But Olivia Raspberry is retired for your second out of the inning as we get the number nine hitter Katie Taylor coming up. He gets one out and then scores four runs. Six nothing now for the Indians as they are batting in the bottom of the third two outs. Both pitchers have very good control so far this game. But Bodkin for the Indians is just cruising along. Katie Taylor takes her second pitch, and it is stroked into center field for a base hit. That ball is brought in, and he's out. Emma Bodkin is thrown out at second. Great play by the center fielder. 
Janica Holloway as she throws that ball in as a dart. And the Indians are retired, but not after scoring another four. As we'll be back, the top of the fourth is Emma Bodkin takes the mound for her fourth inning of play right after this. Locally owned Gennett Trust Bank understands the importance of great service, great rates, and putting the focus on you. Hi, this is John Padden with Kennett Trust Bank inviting you to stop by at our new location, 917 First Street in Kennett. We offer full banking services like checking, savings accounts, plus home, auto, commercial, and agricultural loans. Stop by our new location, 917 First Street today or online at KennettTrustBank.com. Kennett Trust Bank is proud to support the Kennett Indians. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello, I'm Trenton Patterson with Patterson Auto Sales in Kennett. If you're looking for a newer, late model vehicle at a great price, then you need to come see me at Patterson Auto Sales. I've worked for the big dealerships, and I can save you money off of what you pay when you buy a used car or truck at the dealership. Plus, I have several great credit options, and we can guarantee financing for anyone, regardless of credit. Come see me, Trenton Patterson, at Patterson Auto Sales, 1005 First Street in Kennett, or visit our website online at pattersonautosales.mycarsonline.com. Back from Indian Park in Kennett as Emma Bodkin gets ready for her fourth inning of play. She is cruising along. Had a little difficulty in the first inning, giving up one hit. Got a little bit of a jam, but got out of that with no damage done. Second and third inning just cruised along, no issues. As she comes up, pitching to the third player in the batting lineup for the East Carter Redbirds, Anna Crawley. She steps in the left-handed batter's box. First pitch in there for a strike for Emma Bodkin. Second pitch, a little outside. One and one. Game moving along at a pretty good pace. Indians lead 6 nothing. top of the fourth. Pitch a little bit off the plate. Not a bad location. Two and one. Hmm. <laughs> Pitch from Bodkin oh, in there for sweet. a strike. Evens up the count, two and two. She took a hefty swing at that one. Yeah, she got her money's money's worth on that pitch. Yeah. Wow. And she got a hold of that she one. That got one that is one. deep right field, and it is out of here gone. in the tree. As Anna Crawley takes that one over the fence to right field is the East Carter Redbirds get on the on the scoreboard. It's now six to one. And that first swing that she took, you could tell she was looking for something. Next up for the Redbirds, Addie Kirby. Pitch is fouled off to the backstop. Strike one. It's Kirby singled to right. Her first at bat. Steps back in the batter's box. Awaiting the second pitch from Emma Botkin. Good hit ball to shortstop. Great play and over in time for the out. As Kinsley McKegg makes another great play at short. Sierra Duckett steps in the batter's box, awaiting her second at bat. She struck out swinging her first at bat. Or actually, popped a center field. First pitch is in for a strike. 
Bodkin not letting that home run bother her. She is delivering strikes. She has a great, great group of players behind her making plays for us. So that always helps. One and one. Swing and a miss. Count goes to one and two. Top of the fourth inning. Indians lead six to one. One out. Sierra Duckett. Second at bat of the game for the Redbirds. Takes the ball a little high. Count goes even, two and two. Ball is down the right field line. It's going to be foul. As Duckett stays alive, two and two. Hearing a little bit of chatter coming from the East Carter Redbirds is dug out as they have been rejuvenated from that long ball from Anna Crawley. Good crowd for both teams out here at Indian Park. That ball's a little bit high and the count goes full. Not missing by much, but good take from Duckett. And that ball is outside as Emma Bodkin walks her first batter of the day and Sierra Duckett goes down to first. Janica Holloway, the center fielder for the East Carter Redbird, steps in the batter's box. She awaits the first pitch from Emma Bodkin and that pitch is on the outside corner for strike one. Inside corner a little bit too close. One and one here. We'll see if Duckett tries to steal second here to get the uh, Redbirds a little closer. Another nice pitch from Bodkin. Outside corner. Strike two. One and two now for Emma Bodkin. Is still one out in the inning. Top of the fourth. Indians lead 6-1. That ball gets to the back stop. And Sierra Duckett will advance to second on the pass ball. Janica Holloway goes even on the count, two and two. Next pitch home is just outside. Did miss by much there as the count goes full again. Three, two. One out, top of the fourth. Your Kennet Indians leading six to one. Come on, Emma. Throw a strike in there. That ball is just fouled off to the backstop, so Janica Holloway stays alive. Perry Jones getting ready for Kennet Indian baseball over in Dyer, Tennessee coming up. They're getting ready to take on the Milan Bulldogs, and this ball is grounded to third base as Janica Holloway is retired for the second out of the inning. Cadence Newton steps in. Struck out looking her first at bat. Let's see if she, as she tries to get the... Uh, Sierra Duckett in from third here. Get the Redbirds a little closer. This ball is popped up to right field. As Katie Taylor makes the play. And inning over, not after the Redbirds get one. Indians come to bat in the bottom of the fourth. We'll be back in one minute. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings, or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, 
Your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. See State Farm agent Greg Wilson in Kennett. Call 888-4913. Come see Grace and Glow at the corner of Tico and First Street in Kennett. They offer 24-hour access tanning, so you can tan when you want to tan. Just $55 a month gets you unlimited tanning or single sessions for $8. They also offer the most popular weight loss shots, semaglutide and terzepatide, plus Botox and dye sports shots, along with fillers to make you look your best. Be sure to visit their great boutique. That's Grace and Glow at the corner of Tico and First Street in Kennett. We are back for the bottom of the second or bottom of the fourth in Indian Park as we thought we were having some sort of pitching change, but some other defensive change has been made for the East Carter Redbirds as Achoa, Achoa, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, comes out for her fourth inning of work. As she'll face off against leadoff batter of the Kenna Indians, Hanley McAtee. Lauren Barton. Batting second this inning, and Hadley Wilson third. If anybody can reach, Avery Payne. East Carter got on the board last inning, hitting a home run to right by Anna Crawley. First pitch is in there, a little high. Ball one. We got a bunch of fans out there on the outside of the fence on along the outfield. Yeah, there is quite a bit of fans out in the lawn chairs, just on the right field area behind the fence. As Hanley McAtee takes ball too high, actually ball three. And four pitch walk for Hanley McAtee to start off the fourth. We have a time called as head coach of the East Carter Redbirds, Teresa Kirby, comes out to the mound and meets with her pitcher and infield. This Kenna Indian softball team, when they get hot with the bats, they're hard to stop. First bat around, they didn't really hit the ball hard, but finding gaps on the infield and second time around hitting the ball a lot harder and scoring four in the third inning. As you going to stay Barton, with her. Lauren Barton, her first at bat, hit a ball into center field for a single and she went around to score the first run of the game for the Indians. As she steps back in the box Goes around for a bunt, takes a strike, and Hanley McAtee advances to second base on the steal. Not a bad pitch from Kayla Koa, and that ball gets away from the catcher, and Hanley McAtee advances to third. So... Hanley McAtee in scoring position here to get the Indians another run if Lauren Barton can make contact with the ball and put the ball in play. And that ball is up the middle for a base hit. As Hanley McAtee scores, Kennett goes up 7-1. to one. That is Lauren Barton's second hit of the game. As she's hit both of her hits into center field. Next up for the Indians. That ball is far, far, and it is a home run. As Hadley Wilson just goes yard, puts the Indians up 9-1. to one. Happened to stand up here and look outside the window to see if that one was going to be foul or fair, and it squeaks inside the line. A home run for Hadley Wilson. Avery Payne steps in the batter's box. She has sacrificed 
player around and had a double on the day. As she comes up to bat for her third time. Monty, is it eight to one or nine to one? Nine to okay. one. It is nine to one. I wanted to make sure I got the score right for you guys. First pitch in for Avery Payne is a ball high on the outside corner. That ball just missed. Tip to the backstop. That big, humongous air conditioner there it blocks us off from left field. <laughs> Next pitch in the dirt. It's your Indians lead nine to one in the bottom of the fourth. Got time called. Don't know what's going on here. Uh, something is blown out onto the field. It's like a baseball for a pitcher warming up, possibly. This Cadence Newton throws it back into the Kenna Indian dugout. Three and one for Avery Payne. Can it need two more runs? Hold the Redbirds at the top of the fifth, and they get out of this game with a win. This ball is popped up on the infield. Akoa comes over and makes the play for the first out. She retires Avery Payne. Lindley Patterson comes up to bat. She reached on an error and had a single to right. This ball low in the dirt for her first pitch. 1-0. and oh. One out. Kenna Indians lead 9-1. to one, Bottom of the fourth. Off-speed pitch. Fooled Patterson a little bit there. She goes 0-2. Oh 1-1. One, one. Sorry. Next pitch, a little high, two and one. This game just around an hour in. That ball is hit hard to second. Good play wow. made by the second baseman. Addie Kirby for the Redbirds as she retires Lindley Patterson. For the second out as Kinsley McKegg steps in the batter's box for the Indians. Pitch is home and a line drive to short and that'll be your third out of the inning as Kinsley McKegg lines to shortstop. Indians go down but not after getting three more runs as they lead nine to one in the bottom of the fourth coming up for the Redbirds. We have Rylan Bowman, Zoma Cooley, and leadoff batter Callie Miller. We'll be back in one minute. At Harris Pharmacy, you can get all of your prescriptions in one stop, and we'll even remind you when it's time to get a refill with our MedSync and Refill Reminder programs. Hi, this is Darren with Harris Pharmacy. Stop by today at 1224 1st Street in Kennett for your over-the-counter and prescription needs. You can come through the drive-thru, or we deliver for free inside the city limits of Kennett. We also offer flu, shingles, and pneumonia vaccines. Come see us today at Harris Pharmacy in Kennett. Good luck, Indians. Kennett Bowling Lanes is under new ownership, and they're excited to announce new menu items coming soon with delicious lunch specials every day. Looking for a fun family outing? Family night is every Wednesday night from 4 to 8. Kids bowl for free with a meal purchase. Book your next birthday party with a basic or pizza party package. They can also host business events. Call 888 9400 to make a reservation or stop by 1315 St. Francis Street in Kennett. Kennett Bowling Lanes. Strike up some fun. We are back. The top of the fifth inning is the Kenna Indian pitcher Emma Bodkin starts her fifth inning of play here as she faces off against Ryland Bowman, catcher for the East Carter Redbirds. Number eight hitter. First pitch is in, inside, almost hits Bowman as she steps back, takes ball one.
Second pitch in for a strike as Bowman swings and misses. One and one. Indians lead nine to one. Top of the fifth inning. They can get through this inning, score two more. Be another kind of Indian win. The ball outside a little bit low. Two and one. Not a bad spot. As Bowman takes. Count goes even, two and two. Just outside, full count. Pitches brought home, and it's popped to shortstop for the Indians as they retire Rylan Bowman for the first out of the inning. Number nine here, Zoma Cooley comes up to bat, and she taps the ball, and it rolls along the line. Foul. Just picked up foul for the Indians. Trying to pull double duties here and help Perry Jones out as he is facing some internet difficulties over in Dyer, Tennessee right now. Trying to do anything we can to get that game on the air for you as I'm trying to connect to his computer over there and help him out. Pitch is in for a strike. One and two, pitches in, and it's grounded foul to the first baseman as she stays alive for the at-bat. Pitch is fouled off the backstop. Number nine batter Zoma Cooley stays alive. One and two. One out. Indians lead nine to one. Strike three. The ball goes to the backstop. The ball is thrown down to first. Lauren Barton throws to Avery Payne who jumps and makes a good good stop to keep the ball from going in the outfield for the second out of the inning. As Callie Miller, the leadoff batter for the Redbirds, comes up to bat. That ball is hit hard to third, and it's down the line for a base hit. As Callie Miller rounds first, goes to second. She's coming into third, trying to get a triple on the play, and she'll slide in safe for a triple. So as the Redbirds get somebody in scoring position here, trying to mount a comeback. Still trying to help Perry Jones out here as he's having some difficulties. We're doing everything we can to get that game on for you guys. Sometimes we just don't have the internet. We're doing everything we can. Three major cell phone service providers, and there's not much to, to get with internet sometimes. 
Uh, As the it. Indians retire the third batter of the or for the third out of the inning, as the ball was hit to second. And the Redbirds go down without any damage done as the Indians come up to bat in the bottom of the fifth. Can they get two runs? Close this one out. We'll see in one minute. Kennett Girls Softball Association is a proud sponsor of Kennett Indian Softball. Their goal is to promote the game of softball as well as stress the importance of sportsmanship to girls in Kennett and the surrounding areas. Registrations are currently being accepted until March 29th for softball and baseball at Baker, Wellman, Brown, and Farm Bureau. Get those kiddos signed up for a summer of fun. Locally owned Kennett Trust Bank understands the importance of great service, great rates, and putting the focus on you. Hi, this is John Patton with Kennett Trust Bank inviting you to stop by at our new location, 917 First Street in Kennett. We offer full banking services like checking, savings accounts, plus home, auto, commercial, and agricultural loans. Stop by our new location, 917 First Street today or online at KennettTrustBank.com. Kennett Trust Bank is proud to support the Kennett Indians. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. We are back from Indian Park as the Indians come to bat for the bottom of the fifth. Emma Bodkin, Olivia Raspberry, and Katie Taylor up to bat. If anybody can reach, leadoff batter Hanley McAtee will come up. Looks like we have a new pitcher on the mound for the Redbirds. Let me see if I can get that name for you. Let's see if some sort of change was made here. C. Miller now on the mound for the Redbirds. Let's see if I can get her name here. Indians lead nine to one. Bottom of the fifth. They can get two more innings or two more runs in this inning. They will close out the East Carter Redbirds and go on to face the St. Gen Dragons. Callie Miller now on the mound for the Redbirds. She comes in for her first inning. Originally playing third base. First pitch in to Emma Bodkin is a strike right down the middle. Perry Jones seems to be on live now from Dyer, Tennessee. We'll see how that holds up for him. I said we're doing everything we can to get you that ball game, guys. I will do everything I can to get that ball game out. He is on KTMO streaming platforms and Magic 105.5 KBOA FM. Swing and a miss for Emma Bodkin as she goes one and two on the count. He is one for two on the day. And a swing and the miss. As the Redbirds retire the first batter for the Indians in this bottom of the fifth. Olivia Raspberry steps in. It's a ball a little high. 0 and 1. Or 1 and 0. Waiting the second pitch. This ball is popped down the first baseline, a little outside the reach of Sierra Duckett, first baseman of the East Carter Redbirds. Count goes one and one, one out, bottom of the fifth. Ball's a little high, two one. Callie Miller brings in the next pitch for a strike. Count goes even, two and two. Let's 
try to get score updates for Kenna Indian baseball when we can. Ball is fouled off and Olivia Raspberry stays alive. Two and two. Kenna Indians leading one nothing in the top of the second. This ball is hit to short and just in time. Anna Crawley makes a great play at shortstop for the Redbirds. She throws out Olivia Raspberry for the second out of the inning. Two outs for the Indians. Here in the bottom of the fifth. It's number nine hitter Katie Taylor steps in. Ball is fouled off the backstop. Into the crowd. 0-1. See some St. Jen Dragons fans arriving as they await their game against the East Carter Redbirds coming up right after this one. Swing and a miss for Katie Taylor. She goes 0-2. Callie Miller stepped in and she has been willing and dealing in this inning. Throwing strikes. Next pitch is Good in. Good pitch. Good pitch. Good pitch. As Katie Taylor goes down swinging for the third out of the inning. Redbirds are going to come up in the top of the six, try to get some rally started. And we will be back in one minute. Hello, I'm Trenton Patterson with Patterson Auto Sales in Kennett. If you're looking for a newer, late model vehicle at a great price, then you need to come see me at Patterson Auto Sales. I've worked for the big dealerships, and I can save you money off of what you pay when you buy a used car or truck at the dealership. Plus, I have several great credit options, and we can guarantee financing for anyone, regardless of credit. Come see me, Trenton Patterson, at Patterson Auto Sales, 1005 First Street in Kennett, or visit our website online at pattersonautosales.mycarsonline.com. We are back from Indian Park in Kennett, Missouri as Kennett Indian pitcher Emma Bodkin comes out for her sixth inning. Indians lead 9-1. to one. Facing Anna Crawley of the East Carter Redbirds as she homered her last at bat. The one run for the Redbirds on the day. She came up to bat. And took a strong hack at the first one and missed. And me and Monty acknowledged That's the her second hard one. swing. She did not miss on the second one. She is two for two on the day. A single in the first inning and a home run in the fourth. She comes in to bat for her third at bat. In the top of the sixth inning. The Bodkin getting ready to deliver first pitch of the sixth. Pitch is in there, and it is stroked out to left field, and it is foul. Another hard hit ball. Just a little late. Count goes 0-1. Crawley steps back in the batter's box. Waiting the next pitch from Kenna Indian. Softball pitcher Emma Bodkin. She pops this ball up high into right field. And the Indians make the play to retire Anna Crawley. As Katie Taylor comes over and makes the first out of the inning. One down. Addie Kirby comes up to bat for the East Carter Redbirds. Waiting the first pitch, and it is in there for a strike. Foul down the left field line, 0-1-1. Keep checking in on Perry Jones and see how things are going in over in Dyer, Tennessee. Indians lead, bottom of the second, one to nothing. Second pitch is fouled down the right field line, and it is foul, and... Addie Kirby goes 0-2. 
Next pitch is in there, and it is popped up into left field. Nobody's going to get to that one. As Kirby heads to second base for a stand-up double. Ball wasn't hit hard, just hit in between infield and outfield. Nobody could get to it. Wind pushing a little bit down the left field line. One out. Kirby on second for the Redbirds as Emma Bodkin getting ready to bring a pitch home to Sierra Duckett. First pitch in for a strike. Beautiful day at Indian Park. We're lucky to have such great weather today for this double header of Ken Indian softball. Next pitch is fouled off the fence down the first baseline as she goes down in the count 0-2. Ball is fouled down the left line. Stays alive in the count. Next pitch home from Bodkin is a little bit outside and high. Ball one. One and two. One out. Runner on second for the Redbirds as the Indians lead nine to one. Top of the sixth. Pitch is a little bit outside. Count goes even. Two and two. Next pitch is in there for a strike, but it gets past the first or the catcher. And Duckett will reach first base as pass ball. And Kirby will move to third base. First and third situation and a little bit of confusion on the Indians' part. They throw down to second base. I'm not sure anybody was expecting that, but no harm done as Duckett moves to second. Redbirds got two scores, two players in Scoring position here. Top of the six. It eliminates the double play ball here. As Bodkin throws her net next pitch home, it's outside for a ball. Ball one. I want to thank our great broadcast sponsors, Bloom Bella Flowers and Gifts, 1110 Kennett Street. In Kennett, happy to help sponsor this broadcast of Kennett Indian Softball. Give Deanna a call at 888-3040. Century 21 Real Estate, 105 East Washington in Kennett, another great Indian softball broadcast sponsor. Give them a call at 888-5888. As that ball from Janica Holloway is fouled off, she goes 2-2, two and two, one out. Indians still leading 9-1, to one, top of the six. Check in with Perry Jones here. Hey, Monty, yeah. see if you can connect Perry back on the radio, if you don't mind. Okay. We're trying to get all that situated for you. Monty's filling in, helping me out here. That ball was grounded a second for the sacrifice. As Addie Kirby comes in for the second run for the East Carter Redbirds. And Sierra Duckett moves to third base. Second out of the inning. Cadence Newton comes to bat. First pitch a little bit outside. Didn't miss by much for ball one. Nine to two now. Indians lead the East Carter Redbirds. Next pitch is in for a strike. Good pitch. 
by the Kenna Indian pitcher, Emma Bodkin. Wind seems like it's picking up a little bit, blowing in and towards left field. Next pitch is in for a strike. And Emma Bodkin is one pitch away from getting out of this inning. One and two, two outs, top of the sixth. That pitch is in for strike three as Kid Indian catcher throws out. Cadence Newton for the third out of the inning. We will be back for the bottom of the six right after this. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. See State Farm agent Greg Wilson in Kennett. Call 888-4913. Come see Grace and Glow at the corner of Tico and First Street in Kennett. They offer 24-hour access tanning, so you can tan when you want to tan. Just $55 a month gets you unlimited tanning or single sessions for $8. They also offer the most popular weight loss shots, semaglutide and terzepatide, plus Botox and dye sports shots, along with fillers to make you look your best. Be sure to visit their great boutique, that's Grace and Glow, at the corner of Tico and First Street in Kennett. At Harris Pharmacy, you can get all of your prescriptions in one stop, and we'll even remind you when it's time to get a refill with our MedSync and Refill Reminder programs. Hi, this is Darren with Harris Pharmacy. Stop by today at 1224 First Street in Kennett for your over-the-counter and prescription needs. You can come through the drive through or we deliver for free inside the city limits of Kennett. We also offer flu, shingles, and pneumonia vaccines. Come see us today at Harris Pharmacy in Kennett. Good luck, Indians. We are back for the bottom of the six as Kennett leadoff hitter Hanley McAtee comes up for her fourth at bat of the day. She scored off a, of, she walked her last at bat in the bottom of the fourth. This first pitch is hit down to shortstop, hard hit ball, just too hot to handle for Anna Crawley of the East Carter Redbirds. And I'm going to rule that one a hit. That one was a little... That one had a little bit of heat on it getting down there. So Hanley McAtee scores. Or gets on with a single. As Lauren Barton steps in, the left-hander's batter's box. Ball is hit the left field and dropped by the left fielder. By hard hit ball by Lauren Barton. Kennett Indians now have two batters on. Still no outs in the inning. Hadley Wilson steps in. That ball was hit in and around the hands. Down the first baseline. Foul. 0-1-1. Adley Wilson has scored every time she has been out on the field. Single, double, and a home run. This one is... The ball hit the second base, and the ball was flipped over the shortstop and comes out of the shortstop's glove. Base is loaded. Base is loaded now. Hadley has reached every at bat. Avery Payne comes up to bat. Strike one in there from East Carter Redbird pitcher Callie Miller. Had a really good first inning out for Callie Miller, and Indians' leadoff batter has got on, and they have not stopped since then. 
Avery Payne goes 0-2. Base is loaded. Bottom of the sixth. Indians lead 9-2. Pitch is in there. It's, it's off the second baseman's glove and two runs score. Two runs score. Runners at first and second for the Indians as they need one more run to close out this game. Swing and a miss. Lindley Patterson got her money worth on that swing. She goes 0-1 in the count. 11-2, Indians lead. Didn't miss by much. 1-1. One and one. Next pitch is in there and fouled off just a little bit late on the swing. Down the left field line. Lindley Patterson goes one and two on the count. Swing and a miss for strike three for Lindley Patterson. That's the first out of the inning for the Indians. Kinsley McKegg steps into the batter's box facing Callie Miller. Swing and a miss. Actually, we got a pinch hitter in, it looks like, for the Indians. Lexi Wallace. That ball is fouled down the first baseline. Well... Having a hard time reading the jersey. Maybe that is Kinsley McKegg. I apologize. No one to the count. One out. This ball is popped up on the infield, and first baseman makes the play. Sierra Duckett, second out of the inning. Emma Bodkin steps in, your pitcher for your Kennet Indian softball team this game. Had a really good game on the mound. First pitch is in there, and it's hit up to second base, tossed over to first, and that will retire the Indians in the bottom of the sixth. We will be back for the top of the seventh in one minute. Kennett Bowling Lanes is under new ownership and they're excited to announce new menu items coming soon with delicious lunch specials every day. Looking for a fun family outing? Family night is every Wednesday night from 4 to 8. Kids bowl for free with a meal purchase. Book your next birthday party with a basic or pizza party package. They can also host business events. Call 888 9400 to make a reservation or stop by 1315 St. Francis Street in Kennett. Kennett Bowling Lanes. Strike up some fun. Kennett Girls Softball Association is a proud sponsor of Kennett Indian Softball. Their goal is to promote the game of softball as well as stress the importance of sportsmanship to girls in Kennett and the surrounding areas. Registrations are currently being accepted until March 29th for softball and baseball at Baker Wellman Brown and Farm Bureau. Get those kiddos signed up for a summer of fun. Emma Bodkin back on the mound for her seventh inning. She looks to close out the East Carter Redbirds. She faces the eight, nine, and one hitter for the Redbirds. Rylan Bowman, Zelma Cooley, and Callie Miller, your new pitcher for the East Carter Redbirds. To close out the three spot for the East Carter Redbirds in the top of the six or top of the seventh. As Rylan Bowman steps in for her third and bat of the game. First pitch is in there. A little low. Ball one. Ball 
Redbirds have scored on a home run by Anna Crawley in the fourth. And off a double from Addie Kirby in the sixth, she came around to score. Second pitch is in the dirt for ball two. Pitch is high, but swung on by Ryland Bowman for strike one, two and one. No outs, top of the seventh. Indians lead 11 to two. Perry Jones over in Dyer County, Tennessee, as the Indians are taking on the Milan Bulldogs. As the Indians lead 2-0 in the bottom of the third. Next pitch is in there for a ball. 3-1. and one. Redbirds are going to have to rally to make a comeback here. This ball is hit in right field as right fielder Katie Taylor comes in and makes the play for out one. Number nine hitter Zelma Cooley getting ready to step in the batter's box for her third at bat of the game. First pitch is in there for a strike. Swing and a miss by Zoma Cooley. That ball gets to the backstop. One, one ball, one strike, one out. Top of the seventh. As Emma Bodkin faces the number nine hit, hitter for the East Carter Redbirds. Next pitch on its way home. Swing and a miss. Cooley goes one and two. Just a little bit over an hour and 30 minutes into this game. Next pitch is in the dirt, two and two. Count even now. It's the number nine hitter, Zelma Cooley. Looks to try to stay alive and give these Redbirds a chance at coming back in this game, but they got a long way to go. Another pitch in the dirt, count goes full. Three and two now for Zelma Cooley. Right fielder for the East Carter Redbirds. Really close pitch, but Zoma Cooley goes down looking. That's her second strike out of the game. One out away. One out away for a Kennett Indian win. Has the leadoff batter for the East Carter Redbirds comes up. Callie Morris, new pitcher, started off playing third base. First pitch on the way home for Callie Miller. This pitch is a little bit low and inside for ball one. Really a well-played game all around for each team. Kennett got the bats heated up and uh, got a pretty significant lead. And this ball is hit to the pitcher and over to first for the third out of the inning. That's a Kennett Indian win as the Indians go on to win this game 11-2. to We will be back to wrap this game up and uh, give you your final scoring and all your info for this game coming up in one minute. Locally owned Kennett Trust Bank understands the importance of great service, great rates, and putting the focus on you. Hi, this is John Patton with Kennett Trust Bank inviting you to stop by at our new location, 917 First Street in Kennett. We offer full banking services like checking, savings accounts, plus home, auto, commercial, and agricultural loans. Stop by our new location, 917 First Street today or online at KennettTrustBank.com. Kennett Trust Bank is proud to support the Kennett Indians. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
Hello, I'm Trenton Patterson with Patterson Auto Sales in Kennett. If you're looking for a newer, late model vehicle at a great price, then you need to come see me at Patterson Auto Sales. I've worked for the big dealerships, and I can save you money off of what you pay when you buy a used car or truck at the dealership. Plus, I have several great credit options, and we can guarantee financing for anyone, regardless of credit. Come see me, Trenton Patterson, at Patterson Auto Sales, 1005 First Street in Kennett, or visit our website online at pattersonautosales.mycarsonline.com. (laughs) <laughs> All right, we are back. The Kenna Indians get the win as they will go on later in this afternoon to face the St. Genevieve Dragons. Your Kenna Indian pitcher, Emma Bodkin, started the game, went seven innings, gave up two runs. Both of those earned runs. We'll take a look at some of the scoring for the Kenna Indians. Hadley McAtee, uh, Went one for three on the day. She had a single to left field. Went on to score twice. Lauren Barton went two for three on the day. She had also scored twice. Hadley Wilson had a great day at the plate. She had a single, a double, a home run. And she reached on an error. Avery Payne had one sacrifice, a double, and reached on an error. Lindley Patterson had a single. Kinsley McKegg had a single, a triple. And Emma Bodkin had a single to right. Olivia Raspberry on the day had a sacrifice. And that wraps up the hitting for the Indians as the Indians go on to win this one as they defeated the East Carter Redbirds. Monty, we couldn't ask for a better... Great it's a way to start off a Saturday, isn't it? Yes, it's a great game to start <laughs> off. Great game to start off. My first time doing play-by-play is we are just a little bit after an hour and 30 minutes into this one as the Indians wrap it up. We're getting ready for East Carter Redbirds as they're going to take on the St. Genevieve Dragons. We're going to take a break. If you're looking for the Kenna Indian baseball game, as Perry Jones brings you that coverage over from Dyer County, Tennessee, they're taking on the Milan Bulldogs for their first game of the day, and that game can be found on 105.5 KBOA FM, and you can find that streaming online at kboaradio.com. His live video stream, internet permitting, is also available on the KTMO streaming platform. You can find that game on Twitter, YouTube, Kick, the KTMO Radio website. If you just click on the live stream button, go to KTMO Live, you'll find the video stream there. They're in the top of the fourth inning right now, yeah, and uh, the Indians lead two to nothing with two men on. So, so Kenan Indians lead right now, so go on and check out that game. Support the Kenna Indian baseball team. We want to thank all of our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Ultimate Fitness in Kennett, another great broadcast sponsor of Kennett Indian Softball. they got great workout facilities and also an indoor practice facility to get your baseball or softball game to the next level. Give them a call at 888-9000. And we want to thank Hanley McAtee Farms. They're happy to help support this broadcast both on the radio and our live video stream. We are going to take a break for a little bit, and we will be back this afternoon for our second game of this doubleheader as the Kenna Indians will face off against the St. Genevieve Dragons. We want to thank our sponsors once again. Thank Monty Lyons for filling in with me, and uh, we will be back about an hour, two hours from now for more Kenna Indian softball. Thank you for tuning in, and so long from Indian Park for just a little while. This has been Kennett Indian Softball. Sponsors for our broadcast include Kennett Bowling Lanes, State Farm Insurance, Kennett Trust Bank, Harris Pharmacy, Curapath Wellness, Kennett Girls Softball Association, and Patterson Auto Sales. Other sponsors include Bloom Bella Flowers and Gifts, Century 21, Ultimate Fitness, and Hanley McAtee Farms. This broadcast has been a production of Pollock Broadcasting Company.